everybody and welcome to my video today. I have a really fun project for you. We're gonna make a book binding card, which I, when I first saw this, I was like, this is really cute. But not only do I have a book binding project for you, and I'm gonna show you that, I have tons of projects to share with you using this brand new suite from Stampin' Up. So Stampin' Up does this really cool thing where they take and they group product products together. It's called a suite of product and everything coordinates and it's really fun. So I've teamed up with my good friend Pip from the UK and we're going to share so many projects with you using these items. So we have the stamp set, the embossing folder, we have these really cute boxes. You're gonna see a couple projects from that. We have the iridescent rhinestones, the beautiful red ribbon, and then the paper. So let me show you guys the products um, up close here. We have this designer paper. And the great thing about the designer paper is you get these like purples and pinks and reds, but then you also get um, just some reds. So the the things that you can do with this paper is really amazing. I love that you can cut these hearts out. I ended up spending actually a lot of my projects ended up being with with the items that I cut out just fussy cutting the paper. You can see like I just even stuck my scraps in here because they're so amazing. And then also the dies will coordinate with your paper. So if you want to use the dies to cut this out, they're hearts so they're really easy to fussy cut. Um, I found and I just kind of got on a roll and I just kept doing that. So the paper's gorgeous. You can see I have lots of different scraps here. My favorite is this striped piece, um, but I loved working with this paper. And then the next thing we have is the stamp and the die. The only thing I wish about this stamp set is that it had a few more sentiments in it. I really ran out of sentiments to use and I was sticking to just using um, the stamp set and the die. Now I did get out my larger stitched hearts um, because I needed some larger hearts, um, but really I stuck to just using these two items. This embossing folder I'm obsessed with. You're going to see it in my project today when we do the card. And it's really simple, but it adds such uh, wonderful texture to your projects. So we have this embossing folder, and then you can see I've used a ton of the iridescent um, rhinestones. The great thing about this is they pick up the color underneath the rhinestone. So they go with just about everything. And then the very last product in the sweet is this ribbon and I used this ribbon on a couple projects and then I did sort of cheat a tiny bit and I got out my pink retired ribbon now this is retired it was in the holiday catalog it sold out but I happened to have some left and these two went so well together so I did cheat a tiny bit using another set of ribbon and another um, die. So let me go ahead and show you all the projects first and then we'll make our book binding card. So the first project I have for you and all of these projects will be listed either on my website with measurements or I will have a project sheet. I haven't figured out what I can put together quite yet. This is a mini paper pumpkin box. And the great thing about this is I just made this to a belly band. So the paper will slide right off and then they can open, whoever you give this to can open this up and then they don't have to tear the paper. So again, I just fussy cut these hearts out and then you can see I used the rhinestones there. So this is the mini paper pumpkin box. I love this. The next thing I have for you is a card. And again, super simple. I love the purple. This purple, the Highland Heather, all the Highland Heather accents reminds me of my grandma. She loved purple and she would have loved this um, set. I will probably put a white piece of cardstock in there to write my message, um, but I have that. The next thing I did was I used the little treat boxes. So this opens up on the top here. 
and you can put treats in like those conversation heart boxes and this is where I added that second ribbon now I cut one of the hearts out just of some um, pink cardstock and then I added those rhinestones and then I doubled up that ribbon and tied it I think I actually doubled the red ribbon twice and then the pink ribbon once and I just tied it into a knot and that slides so we'll slide up and down there's no sentiment on this one but I don't really think you need it it's just a cute little treat next up I have a couple more cards for you guys here's this one again with this paper here I'll lay this out for you guys so you can see them as we go this is probably my favorite again I cheated and used that pink ribbon but use what's in your stash right you know dig around in your ribbon drawer find other things that go with it here I just fussy cut one of those hearts out and I love the X and the O that is in this stamp set um, it's probably the thing I've used the most but I just love it I love the size of it I think it's perfect and so I fussy cut one of those hearts out and used it for this card here the next card I have is here with pool party again I used that X and O and then I did the happy Valentine's Day so I did two sentiments there so the X and the O work great as accents but then they also work great as a sentiment as well next I have another little treat bag now this uses um, one of our uh, th these may be retired I'm not positive but you guys know I always grab pretty packaging stuff off the clearance rack and use it um, I have a ton of this kind of stuff in my stash so I just pulled out one of these bags you could put anything you wanted in here any kind of treats then I fussy cut these items out and then I just attached them to the bag this would also make a great card design so instead of putting it on a treat bag you could do something like this on a card and it would work just as well next I have a fun fold card and you pull it out like this and it is this really fun fold type of card this is where I pulled out my larger hearts I wanted a really large statement on this one I love that when you open it up it has this peekaboo stripes in it so cute and then it just says happy Valentine's Day this is a fun one and then next, um, I actually have a scrapbook page for you. So I did a double-sided scrapbook page. Again, there will be a better photo. I can't get this all in frame, but there will be a photo on my website and you know the measurements will be somewhere if you guys want to um, copy this. I did that X and O right on the edges, right on the top and the bottom, so cute. And then I used that designer paper. And again, I just fussy cut those hearts out so cute right so let's set aside all these extra proje projects that I did and let's put together our book binding card which is really fun okay, so I have the basics started and what you're going to do is take an eight and a half um, by 11 piece of cardstock you're gonna cut that in half at four and a quarter so you're gonna get a normal um, card that would open up this way Okay, so you'll cut it at four and a quarter. You will score it at five and a half, which is this score right here. And then you will score it at three and three quarters. Okay, so you'll have this little strip right here. So now what I've done is I have taken and used my embossing folder and I've embossed this part of it. So just this square right here. So what you end up having is like a four inch by four inch square right here. And look at that embossing on there. This embossing folder is so, so cute. Okay, so we're gonna do a few things here. Um, I have a piece of, another piece of pattern paper. And then I have a piece of cardstock. And again, all the measurements will be somewhere either on a project sheet down below or on my website and then as I said you can totally 
fussy cut your items from your paper. So what I wanted to do was grab this design. I really love this design. And then I have this, and then I'm gonna use real red, and I'm going to use a sentiment out of this stamp set. Um, so the next thing that I wanna do, and I'm just gonna use my little trimmer for this. I just want a two inch by two inch square. And I love these hearts. Uh, this is one of my favorite patterns in the whole um, pack. And actually, I think I might need it a little smaller than that. Maybe one inch by one inch. Let's do one and a half by one and a half and see how well that works. That is perfect. So one and a half by one and a half. So let's put some of these together here. So the first piece that I want to put together is the pink and then this purple one. I'm just using some liquid glue and then we're going to pop up this purple striped piece. So I'm going to put this together like this. When you use the liquid glue, it gives you a few extra seconds just to make sure everything's lined up really well. And you're gonna see why this is a book binding card um, in just a second. So now I wanna add some foam to the back of this. Look at those beautiful hearts. Huh? They just work so well. I ended up not using as much yellow as I had originally thought I would but that's okay. So let's just add some foam to this. And then the next piece we want is a strip that's gonna go here. And that is gonna be a one inch strip by a four inch strip. So we have a one inch strip by a four inch strip. That's gonna fit on there really nicely. It'll give you a little bit of a purple border go right there. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna use our ribbon. So I'm just gonna take out a strip. You guys know I just always end up cutting a little bit more than I need. And we're going to slip it inside the card. And then we're gonna tie a bow. than I would normally just for fun and then what we're going to do is open this up and we're gonna position our ribbon exactly where we want it because then right in this space here we're gonna add some adhesive you could use your tape runner I'm using liquid glue you want it flat and then you can pinch that together and then you can see it opens like this and so it looks like a book binding, right? So now we'll leave that to set and then I probably should have stamped my sentiment before I glued everything. Rookie mistake, right? But we're gonna go for it. So out of the um, stamp set, I ended up using this sentiment quite a bit. That's why I wish there were a few other sentiments on this set, but that's okay, it ended up working out. So where I want this is I just want it here in the corner. Now this is on foam, so I need to probably be a little bit careful, but I think I can do it. And I just got the bottom part is slightly messed up, but we can fix that. And then what I wanna do is just add a piece of foam to my designer piece here. So that is just a one inch by one inch strip. Or I think maybe I did. Did I do one and a half, one and a quarter by one and a quarter? I might have done that. Yeah, I did. So then let's add another strip of foam right on there. And then I have this heart that I fussy cut and let's add some foam for that. And look at how cute this card is. I'll just take my writer marker and I will fix that. And then the last thing that I wanna do is just take my Wink of Stella and add a little bit of shimmer and shine to the heart. 
And then we have our really cute book binding card. It opens like that. That liquid glue will need a little bit more time to just dry, but once it does, you have this really cute book binding card that will just fit in your normal A2 size car, uh, envelope. It'll be perfect. So again, all of the measurements for all of the different projects and better photos will be on my website. And now what I want you to do is head on over to Pip's YouTube channel and her website because she has even more projects using the um, Sweet Talk Suite from Stampin' Up. You're going to love her projects. They're really amazing. And we hope that you will leave us a comment and let us know how you enjoy this. We're thinking about doing this um, every couple months or maybe once a month taking a suite of product and showing you guys lots of different projects for it and we would love to know if um, it is something that you enjoyed seeing and I want to know what your favorite project of all the ones that we show you um, leave us a comment and let us know I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will be back on Friday don't forget that celebrations is happening so for every $50 you spend you get a free item from Stampin Up which is amazing so make sure that you get your orders in and get those free items before celebration ends I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you at the end of the week. Thank you so much for checking out my videos. Here on the screen, you're going to see two other videos that you can check out. I would love for you to do all the YouTube -y things, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you get notified whenever I post a video and I will catch you in my very next crafty video.